since I'm home, got a bad hand, and my wing is almost dead. There's not much. I mean, you could see how wobbly it is. If you look, in the, look, it really is about dying. So I thought, well, why not make a new one? Because this one here is dead. Well, close to being dead. So I'm just going to peel off all the electronics and all the gear. And you can see stuff like that is coming off. Um, I might not just throw it away. I might just uh, give it to someone. To say, well, here you go. You've got something to build that from. Um, but yeah, I'm not bothered with this anymore. It's... It's it's last time I was out flying it I crashed a couple of times it's not not as strong and reliable anymore which is a bit sad because it was a good wing but I'll build a new one I think I'll make it just slightly slightly smaller uh, so I can get some more speed out of it um, but yeah so that is um, today's project since I got a bad hand but I can work with styrofoam it's not too heavy and um, well styrofoam isn't heavy. Um, some of you might say, why don't you just get to building your large one? Well, because I need to sand that first, and that's too large to sand anyway. Uh, this one here, uh, if I do make one about the same size, a little bit smaller, I can sand that downstairs without um, any problems. So, yeah. And uh, I haven't seen the shadow of Mike for some days. He's been gone for about four, five, six days. And I just went upstairs in uh, the room where he lives, which is our room, uh, it belongs to this apartment. It looks like a bum pit, it's so dirty up there, you can't believe it. And all this stuff is just thrown all over the place. Um, yeah, really messy. Um, but so he needs to find somewhere to live soon because we are moving. Um, and as soon as we get the contract signed and all that, we'll start going away. Because um, I'm not staying here longer than necessary. Alright guys, so let me get started with the wing. And some of you guys are asking for measurements. Well, I can uh, give you the measurements I have. And they are in my... Where's my little folder? I can't find it. No, I know where it is. Hold on a second. It's in my closet here. Yay. It's right here. Mind you guys, these measurements are stuff I made myself completely. Um, if you look here... This is my measurements, and uh, if I can figure out how to do a PDF of this, I will make you a PDF so you can print it out. But I never worked with PDF files before, so I might be able. To, so I don't know if I can do one for you. This is the wing, the last one Mike built, and uh, yeah, that's just nine ninety centimeter, I guess it is. Uh, this one here is slightly larger. This is the one. This this one here is the same size as that one. This is the same one. So yep, I'll get started doing that now. And hopefully I'll have that done within too long. So that'll be interesting. Alright, so see you guys a bit later. And uh, yeah, I will try and make a PDF file so you guys can uh, get it if you want it. Um, but I'll let you know whenever I finished it, alright? Um, I decided to go ahead and make a complete same size of the Swift 2 model, which is uh, a nice flying wing. And uh, I'm going to use the exact same specimen. Uh, what do you call it? Specs, same size, uh, completely. And uh, you probably wonder, how did I get these numbers here? And how do I know that's the exact Swift? Well, my way of doing it is quite simple. And maybe some would say, oh, it's dumb and it's not the right size. But what I did is, found a picture of the Swift, the MS Composite, like is there. And what I did is, I just uh, took my ruler. And I'm scale up the picture on my screen so it fits with 20 centimeters from there to the middle. So now I have a scale, which is that means that the picture right now is half the size of the original one. So all I gotta do is take those measurements, measure completely around all the length, uh, and I didn't add the ailerons on, I'll do that after. Just the main wing to start with, like that and cut the yellow one through like that wrote those measurements down there and there I have it um, then I just have to add these numbers up to the full size which means that this here is a 1 to 2 so I just gotta um, if I measure 20 here you can see if I put it down there and measure 20 from 
the end of the wing till the middle of the wing, that will be 40 then. So that's what I did. I wrote 40 there. So now I know my measurements. <laughs> Guys, typical I screwed up when I wanted to tell you this. Um, the first thing you do is to make yourself a line, which is that one there. That is your wing distance from the middle and out to the end. And you need to keep that. That's like your working point. It's not, you don't have to use that for anything else, this line here to show that. Then you need to find your height here, which I got there, which is 25 centimeters, original size. And then you need to find the height from out here and down to the leading edge wing tip. Uh, what I did is I just took my ruler and I can see up there because I can't get it all the way up so there's half a centimeter there and I just measure that up here and minus that half centimeter up there so they give me 15. So you make a line from the top of your wing uh, on, your, on your nose and your plane make a line, follow out that and you measure down the exact the same length then you get your right uh, wing angle, how it's supposed to be. And then you do your same measurements, 20 down here. So uh, I had to wipe out everything <laughs> and do it over again because that doesn't look right at all. Um, it's been a while since I've drawn the wings uh, because I only actually made uh, that one here. And that one in there is made out of uh, my own measurements. Plus the small ones I got here, they are made out of uh, a print. And these are made out of a print. Uh, so I already had those length and measurements for that so that's not really a problem but this here is a complete swift copy now so I'm just gonna draw in the measurements and make the ailerons and all that done I already know the numbers that's the perfect part of it so then I'm ready to go and draw it down on my styrofoam here we got it guys this is a swift from MS Composite um, on the uh, the styrofoam, and I'll just take mine so you can see what size difference is actually going to be. It's going to be quite a bit size difference. Um, I'm going to just put this out to the edge. See? See how much bigger mine is? It's just added 20 centimeters. So it's going to be a smaller wing for me, but I think it's going to be nice. Um, it probably won't glide as much, but it'll have more speed, and that'll be fun. Um, because I like to have a glider, but the glider I got is in here, that's going to be my big wing. But you've all seen this already. Uh, I already made the ailerons there, I just need to get them sanded and all that. So, uh, yep. And also I need bigger batteries and all that for this. I think that one here, Swift model I'm making now, will be perfect with the batteries I got. Uh, I think I'll, um, I'll have good flying time with that. Ah, little flag away. So let me just get on with drawing the ailerons on because I'm going to make everything out in one piece and uh, so I can sand the ailerons in uh, the actual shape of uh, the wing. When you're cutting out styrofoam, it will normally make a mess if you just take a knife and start and you get all these little white uh, snowballs all over the place. But um, I'll show you a way to do this. What you need is a glass plate uh, or something which will not burn. I prefer to use a glass plate because I can see through. And then you line it up so it lies straight on uh, your line, which you want you to cut just a little bit from, not about a millimeter or so. And make sure that you're over an edge. And uh, this can take some time, but what I do is, just go to the kitchen. This I won't be able to do much longer because we, we won't have a gas stove in the new place. But I have a Stanley knife, uh, just a regular Stanley knife. And I used the blade before you can see. And um, yeah. When you use the blade, make sure uh, you you keep it cold and all that. So I'll take my um, the stove here and just turn on the gas. As you can see, it's burning. Can you see it? Yeah. And I'll just put my knife gently with the point into the flames, above the flames, and hold it for a little while. Normally you should count down for about 25 seconds or like that. But uh, let's see. It'll heat up very quickly. Don't get too close in the axle and knife because it can melt. So stay a little bit away. So keep the blade out, far out, and heat the blade. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you quickly. I'm not going to cut in my axle wing because I can't hold it at the same time. So now the blade is very warm. Let me just go and show you what happens when you cut here now. Look, I'm going to do this corner here, right? Look. You see that? Let's try again. So I'm cutting completely straight. 
It's going to be all nice. It's going to be just as, as the board sides. It's going to be all closed off. As you can see, it's all flat and level. And your pieces comes out all nice and straight. And when normally you cut over, you open the fibers. But here you're actually burning the fibers so they can all closed in again. You can see how they look. Um, this is the side which is from the shop. It's all enclosed because we heat cut and I've done the same. So this is how I cut um, my styrofoam. You can see it's got a nice surface. Like that. So that's just how you do it. So let me get started cutting out my wing and um, I'll show you when it's done. But be careful. Ask your parents to help you if you um, are not very good with this. And don't touch the blade. Don't touch the blade. It will get very, very hot. You'll burn yourself. And make sure you do it somewhere. Uh, it's, it can smell from the styrofoam. It's not the very best to, to inhale. Um, that's why I got the window completely open and we got the window open the other end of the apartment. So it's got a nice flow of air through. Uh, actually, the balcony door is open as well. But ask your parents to help you. And when you cut, um, go very gently. Don't force it. Just go slowly. Have a steady hand. And that's why I use the glass plate. I'll put the knife blade all the way up to, to the actual glass. Hold on the glass and I can just drag it slowly through. I might need to go and reheat the knife a couple of times before I get through the whole um, length of the plate. But I will eventually get through. So um, just be careful. Don't burn yourself, alright? So um, this is um, just a little tutorial how you can do that. So let me go and uh, get started. Okay, first piece cut off. And I got a nice, almost completely straight line. So yeah. Save that bit of styrofoam. This would actually do for some spare parts in case you break your wing. You can cut off what's broken and add some new stuff on it using glue. Um, I'm saving a lot of big pieces like this. Uh, I see a lot, lot of options now. So let me just um, get some more cut and I'll show you when it's done. Alright? So, uh, yay! New wing under building. <laughs> yes, done. So, in less than half an hour, it took me to draw and cut out MMS Compass is Swift. This is the actual size an, uh, an MS Swift is. And uh, yeah, so now it's just got to be sanded. The sanding job will take longer because you've got to be more perfect about that. But I use normal sandpaper. I use um, a 240 to sand uh, lightly, gently off when I've done sanding the rough parts. Um, what I will do now, I'll just draw down how I want to make the profile on the side. And uh, yeah, then it's just time to sand. But this is how you get yourself an MS Compass Swift. Uh, quite cheap. And this isn't one piece. It's the first time I made one one piece. Normally I always cut them through the middle. And uh, yeah, but this is this is my wing from now. So I will uh, get started and um, draw the profiles and go down and sand it. Alright guys, the wing is all done. It's sanded, painted. I got everything and I'm full of it because uh, <laughs> I haven't done anything else than that. <laughs> it's like, this is like become the parking of my wings. Whenever I've done something on them, they're going to be parked there for a while. <laughs> and then when they've done that, they come behind the screen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding with you guys. No, I haven't done anything else on it. I just um, didn't feel like sanding because the weather wasn't too dry outside. I don't want to get all wet when I do it. So yeah, <sighs> get tired here. But I'll probably do some tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going out to my parents as well. Uh, we need to go do a few things. So um, that'll be interesting. All right. So um, we'll take good care and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And thank you for watching my videos. And I do have a question today. What do you guys think I should paint on this wing? I want it to look really, really nice and cool. Um, so what do you guys think? What should I paint on it? Give me some suggestions down in the comments. And um, whichever I like the best, I will choose. So be creative, guys. And uh, let's see what you come up with. All right, take care. Bye.